In this video, I'm gonna talk about why better communication oftentimes isn't what's gonna save a relationship. In fact, most of the time, it is not the thing that needs to be addressed when you're trying to save a marriage or any relationship. And this is the problem with therapists and marriage counselors. They focus so much on communication that they have no idea what the power dynamics are in a relationship, how attraction works, what women want, what men want, and actually how to reconcile these things. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what you need to do instead, instead of better communication to solve your relationship problems. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betray the Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. Relationships start to fail because of unmet expectations. She expected you to be a certain way or do certain things and then you just didn't do it. Which then comes up with some sort of resentment. And then you expected her to do something and then she didn't do that. Or maybe the terms changed. Maybe you got married, she stopped wanting to have sex with you. And so then there's this resentment that builds up. And then after a long period of time, that resentment turns into contempt. And then when you're in contempt with somebody, it's like you do not give them the benefit of the doubt. You give them the opposite of the benefit of the doubt. You're like, this person's gonna fuck it up no matter what. Fuck him. And so when you're in this situation where contempt has started to take root, it doesn't matter how much communication is gonna happen because what they need to see is a change of behavior based on an unmet expectation. And most people stop talking about what their expectations are because they're like, well, this person will never give it to me. This is why I'm holding them in contempt because they will never change, they will always be this way and nothing's ever going to be different. And so this is where counselors try to get in. It's like, well, what is it that you want that he's not doing? And he's like, well, I just, I just would like him to just talk to me more and show his emotions. Really what she's saying is she wants him to be present with her and actually be vulnerable and express how he is instead of putting on this fake facade and just pushing everything under the rug. But she can't communicate that properly because she doesn't know what that is within herself. And so she can't even express what it is that she wants because she can't figure out what's going on within. And then she holds him in contempt. And so at this point, it's like, okay, well, we're gonna try to save this relationship, but this woman won't let go of that contempt because she sees that there's no hope here. So it doesn't matter what he does. He could do all of these things. As long as she holds on to the contempt, she will never change. She will never allow the relationship to go anywhere further. And so this is where people will say, well, it'd be easier to start with somebody new. Yeah, because you don't want to let go of the anger and frustration. You just want to let go of it. You want to hold it to him. And then all the pain you're feeling, you want to make him feel it. All that pain and isolation you're feeling, you just want to throw it on him instead of actually addressing the issue within yourself, which is how do I connect and be present with myself? If I want that from him, how can I do that with myself? And so they oftentimes, the problem isn't communication. It is the fact that the person wants from the other person what they should be giving to themselves. And typically when contempt takes hold, all respect goes out the window. And it's because respect goes out the window, all the communication doesn't work either because like nobody wants to talk to somebody who just doesn't respect them and holds them in contempt. Like, why would you talk to this person? It's like, I don't want to associate with this person at all. Yet I yearn for this, for this to just like blow over. I would like to get back to this other place, but as long as this person's holding on to it, it can't happen. And so because the person doesn't hold them in respect, they can't actually have a relationship. And so this is where clear boundaries are necessary, where it's like, if you decide to hold me in contempt and you want to hold this over me the whole time, then we cannot have a relationship. But most people will not make that boundary because like, well, if I do that, I won't be together with her. We'll have to break up. And it's like, well, what's the fucking point, dude? Well, you're not really together anyway. You remember relationships are about relating, but you're not relating to each other at all. In fact, you're holding each other in contempt. So how are we gonna hold, solve this relationship? You just can't let shit go. If you can't just actually be here and be present. If you can't actually hold somebody with regular, decent human respect. And so for most men, if they're in a relationship like this, the first thing is we got to make sure that he holds his boundaries and demands respect in his relationship. Because once a woman holds contempt for you, she's never going to give that up unless she sees that you are not going to put up with that shit. And when she sees that that's going to happen, it's going to get worse as she tests it and stress tests the fact that you're going to hold firm to your boundaries. Because most guys that women hold in contempt, they have no boundaries. Or they've just completely ignored her completely. So they're on two ends of the spectrum of attention. There's not nearly enough attention where she, he's just been neglecting her completely and she just wants him to be present with her once in a while. Or he's been too far up her ass all the time where he's just been needy and trying to gain approval from her. And so either one of these, she doesn't have respect for him. And so obviously if we got the needy guy over here, we have to show him how to stand strong in his power and just hold strong boundaries. Whereas the guy over here needs to listen to her more and actually be present with her. And then these actions, not communication, but the actions is what solves the problem. And in this game of 
not really having communication as being the fundamental problem, you being willing to lean into your own personal growth means at some point you're going to stumble on this kind of a category of how to save your relationship or how to make it better. If you're taking this continuous approach to self-improvement, then you're going to be looking at yourself and not at your partner to change, which is the right approach. Always look at yourself, not your partner to change. Because oftentimes, especially if it's the man in a relationship, how he conducts himself is generally how she's going to follow. And this is just how men and women are set up. The guy typically leads the charge. If he wants a different relationship, he must change things in his life to elicit this better relationship. If he doesn't do that, then what ends up happening is, is that he leaves it up to her, it just falls apart. Because there's something deep down within her that says that he should be leading this. Why are we having a better relationship? Why isn't he leading us into a better relationship? Why do I have to always be the one doing it? And so for him, he has to be the one to take charge, take control of it. And oftentimes when he does this, she's gonna follow. Communication isn't the magic bullet in a relationship. Everybody says, well, we just need to communicate more. We're just not communicating properly. We just don't, like, she's saying something, but I'm not hearing it. He's saying something, but I'm not hearing it. It's because the problem is, is it's usually presence and action. You're not being present enough to actually hear what the person's saying because you're not getting the truth of it, and you're, not pr and you're not present enough because you're not present enough with yourself, always trying to distract yourself from the next thing. And so your partner sees this, your distractedness, or you're just capitulating to everything she does is not really trying to connect with her, but as you trying to escape, trying to either escape harshness that she's throwing your way, or you're trying to escape reality of being with her because you're busy with your phone. And so this is usually where contempt starts to kick in because she's not feeling it. And so on one hand, we have, again, this span of attention. He's too far over here where he's had his head up her ass all the time trying to make her happy, which she sees he's not really present with her. He's just jumping out of every whim that she has. Or you have this other guy who's probably leaned too far into his business and she feels neglected and she doesn't feel seen by him either. And so both of these guys are not doing what she's really wanting, which is to be present with her, really feel her, see where she's at, see her having this human experience. So even if they communicate really well, none of this stuff matters because we're not even talking about attraction. And so I can communicate with somebody all day long. It doesn't mean I'll be attracted to them. And do I want to be with somebody that I'm not attracted to in a romantic relationship? No, that's the whole point of a romantic relationship. Be some, with someone you're attracted to. If it's not, then you're just friends. And so it's not really about communication. It's about attraction, mutual respect, and alignment of goals and values, having high compatibility. And if you happen to be with a woman who will never take responsibility, she'll never say she's sorry, she'll never accept any kind of fault, and she always just blames everything on you, check out this video right here. If you like this video, hit the like button so other people will also see it. And if you want to see more like this one, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.